Okay, so Uprising is your directorial debut, feature debut. Yes. Um, and it's quite an explosive one to, to <laughs> yes. come into. I mean, how, was it quite easy making that transition from TV into film? And why was it the right project to transition into? Uh, I, well, it was a little scary. I mean, it's much bigger. Uh, but everything I was doing in TV, I think, really prepared me for this. In television, I'm used to working with action, stunts, visual effects. Um, this was just a much, much bigger version of that. How I got into this, um, it was, I, I didn't really choose Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim chose me. Uh, I had written a very small thriller called The Dead and the Dying. It was a Hitchcockian kind of story, three people in a house. And uh, Mary Parent, the producer, read it, really liked it, and uh, we set it up at a studio. And we were trying to get a start date and get the cast together, and it was taking a really long time. And Mary called me one day and said, yeah, maybe this isn't meant to be your feature directorial debut. And I thought, I'm losing my producer. The movie's dead. Classic Hollywood story. And then she surprised me by saying, what do you think about Pacific Rim 2 instead? Um, and it turns out Guillermo couldn't do the sequel because there was a scheduling conflict. He was shooting another movie at the same time that they needed to shoot. That movie turned out to be The Shape of Water, yeah. which turned out great for Guillermo <laughs> and also great for me. So they were looking for... Uh, another director to come in and take over and they really wanted a writer director because they wanted a new script and uh, they wanted somebody who had uh, production experience and could manage people and, and also had the writing side and uh, I, I was fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time. Oh, that's brilliant for you, brilliant for you. <laughs> yes. yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, yeah and Guillermo is still a producer on this as well yes. isn't he? Yes. So um, did he give you any like pointers, any tips or advice of how to how to basically create his, his world. <laughs> you know, the the biggest bit of advice he told, well, he, he told me many things, but he told me it's a marathon. Make sure you pace yourself. It's uh, a lot longer process than television, which, which he was right. In TV, the most I had ever directed was 16 straight days on uh, Daredevil. Uh, and this movie was like four and a half months of straight shooting uh, all over the world. So it was a much bigger, much longer time-consuming process. Uh, but the thing he said that really made the most difference to me, he said, look, I I'm going off to shoot my passion project. Um, if you need me, reach out. But otherwise, I'm going to stay out of your hair. And I want you to go make your Pacific Rim movie. Don't try to make Guillermo del Toro's Pacific Rim. Make it your own and, and do your own thing. And, and that really gave me the license to, to, to break out and try something a little bit different. Yeah, and also um, Charlie Hunnam as well. I mean, obviously, he had scheduling conflicts, didn't he? So, yes, he yeah. did. Is there any, like, scope for him to be in any further? Uh yes, it's it's my hope. Uh, you know, at, at one point in, in, the, in Pacific Rim Uprising, we had talked about uh, uh, mentioning that he had retired or he had died. And uh, then we came up with a really interesting story of him coming back in a, a future installment, hopefully the next one. And this, this depends on, of course, schedules and, and scripts and all of that. Um, but is there a possibility he might come back? Uh, yes, absolutely. We have left that door wide open. I would love to see Charlie Hunnam back. Okay. And uh, f yeah, finally, uh, the cast go through quite a physical regime as well. I mean, how much of that was just on green screen or did you build actual sets as well? Oh, we, we built actual sets. Uh, whenever you see them inside uh, a con pod, the control room of the Jaeger, um, that's an actual set that we built on a two-story gimbal so we could shake the hell out of the actors. And they're, they're, they are actually bolted into those arms and running on treadmills. So it's, we made it as real as we could. It looks a lot of hard work. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank right, you. Cheers, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!